I am here. Yeah, the camera's on. Okay, I think I am on. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Dana Stories live stream. And let me change my capture to Daz Studio. And I'm going to be creating characters tonight. So let's see if I can um, get to it. I've got lots going on here. I'm also on Discord, so if y'all want to join me on my Discord channel, let me get that link up for you. And that way you will have my Discord. Okay. Let me get back. Got a lot of files open right now. Okay. And I'll put that link in the chat. I am on Discord now. Okay. So, I am not on the voice channel. <laughs> Excuse me. But if someone comes, I will get on there. So, if anybody wants to get on Discord, I'm on there now. Hello to 0AX2, Alien Gathering, another TTV viewer, and Nintendo Switch XL. Welcome. We're going to make some characters. So... I will um, be watching the chat, hopefully a little better than I did last time. Let me make absolutely sure that y'all are seeing my dad's. And yes, it is on. So now let's make some characters. I'm going to make Fern Ashby. And where is Fern? She is 23, medium blue eyes, long light hair, and she is thin. She is a biome tech. So we're going to make Fern the biome tech. All right, so I already have a blonde model. So let me open that blonde model, and I'll have a head start. So, no, I don't need to. There's nothing there. Okay, and this is a female. So, I'll get the um, default blonde up here. And here we go. And it's taken a minute. All right. And it's warning me about missing files. I really need to go on the forums and ask about that. Um, let's see. I think I will want to change her hairstyle. Don't think I'll go for Is Isabel Casual. I think I'll go for something shorter. If I was biome tech, I would not want to risk my hair getting in things, even though they do wear a suit. So I'm going to go for a short hairstyle. Just because it would be easier to stuff in the helmet. <laughs> oh, why not the Bernadette hair? That's cool. All right, and it's an updo, so that's good. And let's see. Okay, let me check that chat. 
Okay. I'll check over on Discord. Let's see, because I heard something that let me know that something going on over there. So let me check it out. Alrighty, just me and my daughter so far. That's all right. Okay. Let me go back to Daz. So, I wanted to post some of my artwork on my Discord, and I'm not a Nitro member, so I can't post anything over 8 megabytes. So, all of my stuff is over 8 me megabytes. <laughs> now, she's got medium blue eyes, so I'm going to change that eye color so it's a little darker. So, I'm going to go on surfaces. Anytime today, computer. Surfaces. There we go. Alright, let's go for irises. And I'm just going to make that base color a little more blue. That might be enough. Oh yeah, that's uh, medium blue. Yeah, that's about right. Let's check it out on the eye ray preview to make sure it's not too dark. This takes a minute. It does a quick mini render. They're dark. Ooh, that is too dark. So I'm going to change this to a lighter blue. Let's see. So I'm going to just move it up a little bit. All right. Well, that was a long way. That's still pretty dark. All right. Let's make them a lot lighter. That's more like it. That's about the color I was thinking of. So, okay, I've got the eye color the way I want it. Now, let me save this as. Burn Ashby. Okay. And put her under. Genesis 8 female characters, earthens. All right. And she's an 8. She is a Genesis 8 character. So, boom. All right. Now, she's a biome tech. Let's put her in an outfit more becoming of the biome tech. Now, I think what I'm going to want... Well, first I need to do her body shape before I dress her. So let's get that out of the way. Now that I've got her looking kind of the way I want. Let's see. I'm going to go to actor. Morphs. Well... Maybe not morphs, people. Real world. Okay. She's not a baby, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, we can... Well, if I use the Victoria 8 character, I can... Um, get the high definition details which I like so I'm going to do that and I'm going to go to body shape let's see full body and she's thin so let's make her thin 
because she works hard. Um, but she's going to be fit from lifting all those biomes. Biomes are head-sized jars of algae, which is the data storage in my universe. So most every world that has maintenance by a diplomatic service team has a biome tech on it and a biome engineer. And they look for problems in the data. So she does most of the horse work because a lot of these places don't allow tech in there. So there she is now. And I should be looking at her body shape. So she's, what height is she? Let me look. Okay. Well, I don't see any clues in my little file, so that's all right. That's all right. Okay. So now I'm going to go into wardrobe, make sure filter by content, and Genesis 8 female. Oh, you know what? Need to make sure my lighting is right. And it is on her. So my default file is doing what it's supposed to. Let me just make sure that she has the lighting on her. Yeah, I want it. I'll go to rotation. Just adjust that a little bit. I'm not seeing any difference much. Okay. Got a kitty who's probably hungry. Meow! 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 Okay, I left it about like that. I'll save my changes. Now let's go to a wardrobe. Oh, I didn't do her head. Well, I should shape her head so she doesn't look like the default. Okay. Let's give her a unique head shape. I have done a lot of work in face gen, and I have a whole bunch of head shapes in here. So, let's give her a Sierra head shape. And Sierra is 25 years old, so we'll give her Sierra. And I'm going to make a note of that. go for either the bio suit or the um, let's see I might go for the ape suit on this Yeah, I 
because she's got to be totally covered up. Uh, the hair is not going to work with this. So I think I'm just going to delete the hair. <laughs> Get rid of that problem right there. Okay. Because we're not going to see that. And we're going to get rid of the dress. We don't need the dress. Okay. So here she is ready to lift biomes. She's got to be totally covered up. Now let's give her something to lift. Let's see. Now, as far as the jars, I did, I think, make a model of the jar or had something that I was substituting for it. Let's look at props. Let's see if I've got something that looks like what I think a biome jar should look like. They're not sharp. <laughs> all sorts of daggers and staves and all that. She's not going to need any of that stuff. Not in the biomes. And not hand bowls. Let's see. Containers. Lunch pail. <laughs> would not do. Okay, furnishings, see under decor, that's balloons, not really, let's see, oh, volleyballs, no, wouldn't look like any of that. Walker. If she needed a walker, she wouldn't be a biotech. <laughs> she would not be a biotech. Although I did write about one that was disabled that used um, programs to hide her disability and then things go awry and she ends up not being able to um, do her job. Well, nope. Nope. There is nothing that I can use. So, let's see. Could try to create something. You want me to do that? Create primitive. Alright. Let's make them cube shape. Make it easy. Okay, I want it to be about 30 cents. Thirty centimeters foot. All right, there it is. Head size jar of goo. Okay, now I'm gonna have her pick it up. <laughs> uh, let's see. So there is a. I have a moving set. So let's. By function, carrying grass. Let's see. Well, well, what are you carrying?
carrying on about, Corrine? Do I have carrying? I have um, people carrying people. But what about carrying biomes? Let's see. Carrying a box. Do I have something like that? Let's see. Oh, phone. She's not going to be on the phone. No. Let's see. Well, she's going to be. Let's see. For carrying. I guess just standing. Or maybe walking. Let's see. Let's try this one. All right, cool. All right, let's pose her. Okay, we're going to get down here. Go to the poses to three D U. All right, we need to get her left arm up. Right arm. All right, about like that. I'm going to have to manually undo that pose. Okay. Well, it's a good pose. I just want to move the arm. So that's the left arm. Let's move her left arm. All right, I want to unbend her forearm a bit. So, yeah, and then I want a little twist to bring the arm in, and the other arm, I want to bring that arm in, okay, and this one needs to be down a little bit. All right. Now, and a race oh, to keep. Good. Um, wheelchair out. Good. Yeah, we're getting the car worked on tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> let's let's not have that like that. Oh, okay. I need a little Z. A little Z. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now she needs her arms down a little bit. Maybe forward from the shoulders. Good. We're gonna be I'm gonna be A okay tomorrow. Good. And I cleared out enough space in the back for the um, bedside tables, too. Oh, good. Yeah, we're getting bedside tables. Most of what I cleared out was trash. Really? We had a whole pile of trash back there. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, I'm already, glad you got it out. Yeah, there was already a trash bag, so I just stuffed everything in the trash bag. Good. And in the garbage can. Good. Most of what stuff we have in the van is trash, <laughs> except for the wood. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. And the tarps, of course, but still, wow. Oh, man. Yeah, it happens when you don't clear it out for a while. Okay. And a tub of socks. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yay, that's where all the socks went. Those are long right. socks that we got in the polka dots and stuff. Good. A lot of those don't have mates, but we will. No, 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 no. Have These both. all have mates. Ooh. These have never been worn. Oh, wonderful! I have no idea why they've never been worn, but yeah. Well, we lost them in the move, so I'm so, glad they were in the bed. There's some pinks and purple ones in here Good. that you can have. I'll take the yellow, blues, and the red, and this okay. lovely red and orange and yellow argo. Cool. Yeah. Wonderful. There's a purple, there's a pair of purple Argyle socks that you should like mm -hmm. and things, but still, yeah. So, I've got and it got to work with that right yeah, arm. Oh, the right collar needs to bend a little bit. Let's see. It's just yeah, not moving. Oh. Wheelchair. Okay. And we need better hand positions, too. Okay. All right, so let's do hands. Go back up here, go back to, yeah. Quite what I was looking for. Let's see. Get these fingers out. A little better. Let's give it a little spread. Ring finger is doing weird things. Okay. Okay. Hey, babies. Have some food. Hmm. I don't know how to improve that. a little better. Oh. left hand yeah okay
that finger joint. I need to fix it. That is the left hand. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay, that's what was messing it up. All right, now let's go to the other side. Oh, <laughs> not ready yet. Not ready yet. No, no, no. All right, let's get this in that position. And bend. Get ready, ladies. Bend. Oh. Oh. Oh, I hate that delay. That's just everything I do on this machine. There is a delay. I don't know if I've got a virus or what is going on, but it is really frustrating to me. Okay, let's improve that position a good bit. All right, that's good. Now I need to work with that thumb. That thumb is not in a good position. Let's see. Anytime today. Oh, okay. Now. Not like that. Let's see how that looks. That looks more natural. Now we need a little bit of work on the other fingers so that it looks more natural. So let's work on those fingers. Let's see. Let's slide that out. Slide that one. Slide that one. Oh, okay. A little better. Let's see what we're doing this way. Hmm. Let's work with that pinky. That pinky needs to bend more. Yeah. Okay, let's get that middle finger bent. Not like that. Like that. That's more like it. And the index finger. Oh. Yeah, let's unbend this some. Yeah. And maybe like that. Let's get 
this. Okay. Just a little bit. better. This needs to come up. It's bent too far. Oh, I can't do anything about it either. Well, I can do that, and I will. <laughs> okay, now that's a pretty natural hand position. All right. Probably going to give her carpal tunnel. <laughs> See if we can improve that a little bit. If she's. Uh, probably need to bend that wrist so it's not in such an extreme position. And what I can do is roll the fingers. But first, I'm going to fix the arm position because the arm position is messing everything up. So let's unbend that a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Now, how are we doing under there? It's not forward enough. That's not balanced. So I'm going to pull the shoulder up a little bit. Whoops. All right. That needs to be up. And then I can unbend the forearm a little bit. Okay. And it's not far enough. That really needs to be out. So let's do that. Oh, yeah. And, all right, needs to be in, needs to be more front. Okay. And, well, all right. All right, let's unbend. Relax, girl. You're too tense. Okay, yeah. That's a little better. I'm going to have to change all the finger position. Yeah, that needs to be... All right. So if she's going to hold it like that, really the cube needs to come over. So I've got the cube in the wrong place. So let's find that cube and move it over. Um, not rotate. We're going to translate. Okay. Yeah. That's what's wrong. I had the cube over too far. All right. Let's see. Okay. lot better. Now she can get a little more comfortable. So if she pulls her shoulder out a little bit, she's going to be a lot more comfortable. So that is the left arm. So I'm going to do the left collar so she's bent in. I'm going to bring that to the front. Oh yeah. That's a lot now. And let's do that. Let's see if we can get her in a better position here. Okay. 
that's the right arrow. So your left hand in a better position. More like that. If I was going to carry a box, I would probably want to get that corner to have a more secure grip. So her arm's not long enough to get all the way out, but she's getting pretty close. So now I'm going to go down to my 3D Universe pose. Let's get the hands. I'm going to do this left hand into a finger roll. Yeah. Oh, I love this. See how easy it is to position that? It's a lot easier than going finger to finger, isn't it? So, yeah. I want to unbend the hand a little bit. So, I'm going to go up to my other hand set and I'm going to make the fingers not grasp so tightly. Yeah. There we go. That looks more natural. I'm going to bend the thumb in though. Let's see. Bend the thumb in, and I might want to make it come up a little bit. So it's putting a little pressure. Okay, and make it come out. <coughs> <coughs> Wait for it to catch up. All right, are we doing anything? Hello? Hello? I guess we're not. I'm not seeing any movement here. Is it still thinking or is it going to work with me? Uh, all right. It's just not doing anything. Let me save it. <sighs> I've got too many things open. That's what it is. I've got several files open. I've got my character file on Fern Ashby. And I've got a blank file. I could probably close that one. I think I'll close the blank one. And yeah, I'll leave that open. Close that one. Alright. Now, that might help a little bit. Okay. Oh. It's just not doing anything. Well, just leave it zeroed. If I can't tell what it's doing, it's probably better just to not do anything at all. So I'm going to go with the left thumb and bring it up. Yeah. And bend it. There we go. Alright, so now I've got the thumb kind of balancing it not, not that far. I don't want it inside the box. Okay, now, alright, let's 
get the other hand. Oh, this is atrocious. Let's fix it. Okay, the other hand. All right. All right, Kamala. Go all the way. Let's see. Bend. All right. About right now. Okay. Let's bring that to the front. Yeah, we need it. Okay, now we got to go to the right forearm and unbend it. There we go. Oh, that's much better, much more natural. Okay, now let's look and see what's going on underneath. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> the arm is in too far, way too far. Let's see. That's about right, but we need to come out. Oh, yeah. Because this suit is not going to yield like... Okay, so it's going to be like that, and then we're going to twist. that in. Much better position. Okay. So many things you have to do to get your arm in a good position. Uh, not too much bent. Okay. So now I want to that a little bit so we're in a good position okay then that's about right okay now we need to bend the hand in. So we're going to, I want general right now. Okay, so about like that and twist in. Hmm. Not really. Let's try a little bend. Just straight. And in. Okay. If not for the suit, I would have the hand in a little bit so that it kind of smushes in against the side of the box, but this suit is unyielding, so that would not do. <laughs> That's not going to be very realistic. So now I want to bend that wrist up. Not like that. Yeah, come up. Good straight hand position. You got to be ergonomic after all. DS would train their guys to be careful of the wrists. Okay, so now I'm going to unbend her fingers. So I'm going to go to the grasp and ungrasp. Yeah, just a little. All right. And 
and spread the fingers out a little bit. Maybe a little of that. Okay, how's that hand position looking? Now we need some finger roll. We need us some finger roll. So let's go. I'm going to go back up here so I can use my 3DU pose controls. And this finger roll, that's the right hand. This is so useful. To get it just right. Yeah. Look at there. That's a pretty natural hand position. I need to get her hand closer in though, so I'm gonna go back to the hand. That is the right hand. I keep forgetting which hand I'm working on. That's not good. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, now I can get a much more natural hand position here. And I'm going to bend it in. Now, let's make sure I'm not getting inside the box. Oh, look at that. That is good. That's how I would be handling the box. All right, now I'm going to get my thumb up because my thumb is not in a good position. So let's end it up. Yeah. Okay. Get it in towards there. Okay. So now we have it. We have her carrying the box. Now it's going to be closer to her, so I'm going to move the cube in. So I'm going to... Actually, that's not the right... I need the Z. Okay. There we go. Now, if I look at that, that's right up against her chest. So, maybe a little more. I want to make sure that it's not uh, mushing into her chest. Let's see. All right, that's about right. Yeah, that's right up against. Okay, now I'm going to check my hand position again. And look at there, that's pretty good. Okay. This hand is not quite up there, so that's the left hand. I need to go to my hand controls and it's the right hand. Let's see if that's good. Probably need to bend the right arm up. A little twist 
and bend the hand down a little bit. Get a good arm position there. And see if the fingers are making contact. They're not. So let's go up to hand roll, finger roll. That is the right hand. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Now we got her. Um, I need that index finger to come in. So that is the right hand. Right carpal one. Let's just bend that a little bit. <clears throat> and I've got it too far. Let's see. I want to uh, bend it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, a little more. I don't have a lot more. <laughs> Let's see. I don't have any more there. Let's try here. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the adjustment I wanted. Now, let's get her finger bent in more. Oh, yeah. So she's got a good tight hold on that biome. Okay. And that's got it. Okay. All right, I think that's a snug hold on that box. So I'm going to save this pose so I can use it again. Save as pose preset. I'm going to call this. G8 F Biome Carry. All right. And I made that cube 30 centimeter. So one. cube. All right. And I want to save the whole pose. Make sure I've got everything out here. I don't think I need to open all of those. It's got it all okay, and it's not an animation. I'll just accept. There we go. And now I've got my hand positions. Okay. And there she is. I want to look at those feet, though. She's walking like she's got high heels on. <laughs> those are not high heels. So, 
I need to adjust the position of this foot. That's the right foot. Okay. So I'm not done. Let's fix that. Okay, so the right foot needs to bend. And the metatarsals need to unbend. Hmm. Our toes need to unbend. Yeah, it's a flexible suit. <laughs> okay, so the heel needs to come down, so I think I'm going to have to work with that. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. All right. <coughs> Let's try this. Let's bring that out. more natural. Now, let's see. Are we on the floor? The other foot's not. <laughs> so let's fix the left foot. Goodness. Okay. Let's unbend the toes. All right. We got some loud music. Oh dear. We don't usually have a bunch of that. And that's heavy, so she's going to have her um, leg out a little more for good balance. So let's do that on the right side as well. got heavy stuff because they're fill, filled with liquid that is a semi-solid so yeah she's gonna need balance okay maybe foot out a little bit okay See how we are doing. And no, that foot needs to come up more. So I'm going to come up a little more. And do that. All right, that's about right. 
she's not walking fast because that's heavy. So maybe I'm going to um, work on the left shin Whoop. and have a little less twist. A little more twist. Okay, and the right chin, we're going to take some of the twist out. Okay. All right, and left thigh, we're going to take some of the twist out there too. Okay, and right thigh. Take some of that twist out. Okay. Let's see how she looks from behind. Mm. That right thigh needs to bend more. Cowboy, let's see. Side to side. That's about right. And let's do a little outward twist there. Okay, now let's look at her from the front. Oh, that's that's bent. The foot is not supposed to be bent like that. That's better. Maybe a little bit. Okay, so now I've got her carrying that. Okay. And the other thing is the cube itself. Let's put a material on that. Wonder if I have any materials. Do I have anything for that? Let's see. Let's see what scripts I've got. No, not really. Visibility. I don't want it invisible. <laughs> okay. No, that's not going to help me. Let's do a shader. That's three delight though. I need to use a material that is iray because I am rendering an iray. I don't want it to be um yeah. So I really need to divide my cube because I'm gonna have um stuff in there. So let's see if I can subdivide this cube. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm probably going to have to um, have a uh, P 
pitcher that's half full and make a texture for it. Making a texture for a cube is pretty easy. Um, so I will need a texture to show that it's got stuff in it. In the meantime, I can just make it blue. So I think what I'll do is go to surfaces and just make it blue, like blue algae. So I'm going to go for that, but a little darker. So it's kind of blue-green. I want it more on the blue side. That's more like it. All right. Now let's render this and see how it looks. So what I'll need to do is subdivide this cube if I wanted to have it like mostly full. I could do that. But with the tech they've got, they could probably do them cube-shaped and then just have tubes running from one to another. And with containments, they could do that. So, I guess I'm ready to render. All right. So we're going to furnish the carries a biome jar. All right. And I've got the lighting right. I've done everything that I need to do. So, boom. See how it looks. It's not taking long. Wow. Not taking long at all. Okay. Right. Let's see how Fern turned out. Let me go to my dance render strip. Oh, not bad. Okay. And let me switch my camera so you can see too. And there she is. There's my biome tech carrying her biome. And I'll go ahead and save this file. And she needs a partner. So let's do another one using the ape suit. So this time I'm going to do a male. So I'm going to do new. Actually, I'm going to open. I'm going to find my default male. All right. I'm not going to bother with hair since it doesn't show in this suit. So this will make it quick. Let's see what her partner looks like. Oh, 
Russia's and Elshar. Okay. Did I switch my camera back? No, I need to. Alright, here we go. And I've got my guide. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let me put Nape suit. Yes, I should do my um, shaping. So, first let's give him a head shave. Give him a Michael eight so we can get the HD details. And now I'm going to go look at features. Elshars look like humans, so I'm going to give him. Um, He's going to be fit. He's also going to be a little on the heavy side. Not a whole lot, but Elshars, if they eat earthen food, they tend to gain a lot of weight. And he's already got blue eyes. Let's give him serious blue eyes. Okay, so let's um, materials. Well, helps if you're in the right place. In the basic gray eyes, and then I can color them. So I'll go down here and surface this. And go for irises under surfaces. So, diffuse color is the first color under there, making sure, because it's a little further down than I expected it to be, but every eye is going to be a little different. So, I'm going to give him serious blue eyes, not that dark. I'm going to go that dark a little bit. I 
I'm going to go a little grayer so they're not so harsh. Serious blue eyes. Elshar's eyes lighten and darken with their moods. So a medium blue is a serious blue. It's not, um, you know, if they were happy or kidding around, they would get light eyes. And if they're angry or hurting, then they get very dark. They can get black eyes, which is kind of scary looking. <laughs> so, all right, there he is. Now let's put the suit on him. So I'll go up here to wardrobe. And outfits. Actually, he's not going to be lifting biomes because he's a diplomat. So let's put him in the... Um, bridge officer outfit when I find it. All right, where is it? There it is. Yeah. Now, they use clothing formers, so I am not going to be, let's see, I'm going to get rid of the t-shirt and boxers. He will not need those. Now that he's dressed, let's Pick up the stuff. The artist did such a good job with this stuff, but I need to have a very plain uniform. There's no decoration on it, and I'm going to get rid of the stuff. So I'm going to get rid of all of the textures because it's got to be very plain and it's going to be very bright blue. So um, I describe it in my stories as being like a flashing neon sign. <laughs> it's a bright medium blue. And... It's very bad design, I know, but that's the way I wrote it. And that, you know, all cultures are not going to consider, you know, that that's garish or clowny, you know. This is how my culture does the uniform. They want it to stand out because when DS comes to town, they want everybody to know it. So, the uniform is very bright. So, now I've got that. So, when he's not doing his diplomat thing, he's not going to be wearing his sash. So, I'm going to do the plain one. It's just a plain blue jumpsuit. And his hair is going to show. So, I'm going to do his hair. So, he's going to have dark hair. No, he's got blonde hair. Excuse me. He's got blonde hair because he's a young guy. So what hair am I going to use? He's and Elshars rarely go bald. They're really not bald. So I'll do Zoran hair on him. All right, and he's young, so he's going to have light hair. So let's go materials. Let's look for blonde or close to it. There's blonde. All right, now we have him. And they're always clean shaven. They don't have to shave. They don't have beards. So, all right, we got it. And let's, um, okay. Yeah, 
I'll just go ahead and render. So well if I can do that and what's his name? Asha. Has he got his own DS team? Okay. Okay. I don't see anything there. back. I don't know what Pravi's from, and there are 10 million Ashas in the Elshar universe, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, let's, um, Burns, boss, team leader. All right. Let's render him. Oh, let's give him a pose and an expression. Uh, let's see. So, let's look at expressions. Okay. He's a talk it out kind of guy, so I'll give him that kind of expression. <laughs> okay, and let's give him a pose. Let's see. He's not ready for a fight. Diplomats are not going to be fighting a lot. So, I guess standing. Well, let's try that one. All right. He's explaining a treaty. Okay. All right. Let's get him centered in there. All right. Okay. We are now ready to render him. There we go. And this one's not going to take very long either. Take it off. Any minute now. <laughs> Blast off an Asha's ship. Yep. 
89% already. Ninety percent, ninety-two percent. Getting there. Ninety-four percent. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. Ninety-nine and 100% and it's writing the file. All right, here we go. And let me Get back to Twitch Studio, change my capture, and here is our diplomat. He's one of the good guy Elshars. So, Elshars can be good or bad, he's one of the good guys. So, let me get to my file, and I'll zoom in. There he is explaining. All right. His eyes aren't looking blue, which is weird. Maybe I didn't have blue eyes selected. Hmm. Let's go back to Daz and fix that because I want them to be blue. So, what did I do wrong? First, I need to switch the capture. I'm remembering to switch my capture tonight. Okay. Let's check those eyes. So I'll go to materials. I'll give him David eyes. Now that should show up better. So let's try this again. Do it one more time. And hopefully it will work. While this is going, I could show you my latest render of the new book. I still need to do some work on it. Let me get this switched over. So I'll change my capture. Can I do that? Did that work? Can you see everything? This is the final battle in the book. I'm having trouble with the sleeve. <laughs> um, I did a render, and I'm going to find it. So, I don't know if that's showing up or not. I'm just seeing a black screen. I don't think it is. Full screen application, you do not work. So, that is that one. And let me go to the other file, which is going to be... Final battle. 
I found a house that looks like a house that they're in front of on pixels. So, where is it? Yeah. So I'm hoping you're looking at it. And I really like the way the lighting turned out. So she's wearing a deep red violet dress, but because of all the light, it's looking purple. And that will have significance in the story. Now the cat needs to go. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out how to get the cat out of the picture. But this is the house. And I'm going to have um, Ree and Laura, who is a nurse, behind her. He gets hurt in this battle, too. And she does also, but this is almost at the end of it, where she is finishing off the bad guy, the red guy. So, yeah. I really like this effect. I found um, a nice effect on Daz Studio that works for this. So I don't usually write about magic or things like that, and this is what that was designed for, but it works very well for my purpose for the cubes that they're holding. Now, um, let me go back to the folder. I need to close some of these files is what I need to do. I need to make sure that I get the right one. So let me go to my renders. And here is the second one. And let's see if his eyes really are blue. And they are. Um, they're lighter than I expected. Hmm. And let me go and uh, let's close some of these files. Now, hopefully, whoop, where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. Okay, hopefully you're seeing that, and if you're not, I apologize. Let me get over here and make sure I've got the right one. Oh, and I seem to. That's the final battle scene, and that is what I just rendered. Okay, so we got it. And he looks a lot better. He's got blue eyes. They're not the color I expected. So I would have to adjust that back in Daz Studio. So let's do that real quick. So Let me change my capture back to the program, and all right, let's see if we can figure out why his eyes aren't medium blue as I planned. Okay, I'm going to go I need to choose him. Of course, it would help if I saved my file out. So I'm going to save as. And this is Asha Diplomat Burns Leader 8. Okay, and he is. A Genesis 8 male. He is 
and Elshar. Okay. Now I've got it saved. Now I can go to surfaces. Actually, not surfaces. I'm going to go over here to surfaces on this side. And I'm going to look at irises. Oh, I didn't change the color of them. <laughs> uh, that explains a lot. So, okay, I want him to have medium blue eyes. Now let's render it again. I'm just going to overwrite this file. Yes, I do want to overwrite it. It shouldn't take as long. Hopefully it won't. So, let's see what we come up with, shall we? 77%. All right. 82%. Eighty four percent, I'm tired today. I went and got my allergy shots. I usually get them on Thursdays, but we're putting the car in the shop tomorrow to fix the air conditioning. I will be so happy when we have air conditioning again. <sighs> we have been without air conditioning for about two years in the van. So, it will be very, very nice to be able to have air conditioning. So, uh, we're taking it over to Staps and Ringgold. They're very good, very good mechanic shop. They also sell auto parts. So, hopefully they can fix it and we will have air conditioning. I am 63 years old, and the older I get, the less tolerant for heat I am. It really got to me today, because it was very hot. So, ever since we had COVID, that's one of the changes. I used to be able to tolerate heat, and I don't tolerate it well at all now. Okay. And we are there. Let me find the file. And see how blue his eyes are. Oh, they are nice and blue. They are not as blue as I expected. Hmm. Not as blue as I expected. Okay, well, I can make them bluer. <laughs> Let me show you. I think that's, no, that's not the right file. I need to close up some of these files. Okay, so as you can see, not as blue as I expected. So let's do it again. Change this back to Daz Studio. And I'm going to close these files real quick so that I don't have so many. There we go. All right. One more time. Let's make them bluer. But I'm going to make them not quite as intense. All right, let's try one more render. <laughs> I'll just override it. All right, let's see if we get them bluer this time. Because I really want them to be a serious blue. He's explaining a treaty. 
he's not going to have light eyes while he's doing that. No one, Elshar, would take him seriously. So, <laughs> yeah. They can't really control their eye color, but they can control what they think about. So if they think about very serious things, then their eyes will reflect that. So, yeah, it takes some mental training to be able to, you know, not let stray thoughts in that might turn your eyes light. It would be a trial to be Elshar. <laughs> Because especially when they're trading, you know, it's like playing poker. You don't want to tip your hand. So, yeah, you, you could really mess up your trading career. And all Elshars pretty much trade, no matter what their occupation is. That's how they survive. So it's pretty important for them to learn to you know, keep their thoughts serious when they want to look serious in the trading circle, or like this guy is explaining important negotiations that he wants them to agree so that they can increase their trade. So let's look at the Rinda and see what I've got. His eyes are still not bluer. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I did the wrong color. It is possible. I'm going to adjust this one more time. So that's the base color. It should be right. I could work on the diffuse color. All right, let's try that. Now, if that doesn't do it, I don't know what to do. Okay. We're going to do this again. I'm going to go over there and close the file. If I can find it again. Yeah. All right. And let me see what y'all are looking at. Y'all are looking at that. So. It. it should just overwrite that file. So maybe it was the diffuse color that I should have worked with. We will find out. Say 89% already. So it doesn't take that long to do it again, 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 and again, and again, and again, 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 and again. I don't know about you, but my allergies are going nuts. This time of year is bad for allergies in Georgia. So I hope that if you have allergies, that you're not in Georgia <laughs> or anywhere in the Southeast, because the Southeast United States is the allergy capital of the world, not just of the United States. It's terrible.
I love my state. It's a beautiful state, but boy, we have pollen and boy, we have mold. All right, let's look at the file and see if it did what I wanted it to do. His eyes are unchanged. I don't know what is the problem. Sometimes it's just that way. I'm not even going to show you it's exactly the same. I'm just going to save this file. And I'm going to try closing the program and coming back in. I'll close that. And I'm going to start it again. And because sometimes if there is funniness with Desk Studio, sometimes just saving your file, closing it, and then opening the same file, sometimes it works like a charm. So that's my first thing that I try. And it's going to take it a minute to come back. So I can show you something else while I'm waiting. Let's see. Let me bring my renders back up. Okay. Actually, I'll go down here. and find my final battle scene while I bring this up. All right. There you go. Now you can watch my <laughs> Final battle scene while Daz comes back up. Huh, is it going to? I thought I double clicked it. Maybe I didn't. Okay. I didn't click it hard enough. Sometimes my fingers fool me that I think that I've clicked it and I haven't. I have peripheral neuropathy, so yeah, my fingers don't feel like they should. Okay, I'm going to bring up Asha Diplomat. Well, are we bringing up the file? It should come up. I'm hoping it will come up. Let me change it back to Daz now that Daz is up. It's not opening my file though. Why? It's doing something because it's not responsive. So I'll give it another minute. Hope I didn't break my DAS. That would be terrible. It's just not responding at all. That is weird. Well, maybe it's because I've got Discord up. Sometimes Discord doesn't play well with my other stuff. So I'm going to get out of Discord and try again. Now it's responding. <laughs> Go figure. Alright, 
It was as simple as closing Discord. <laughs> ah, Discord and Daz, they don't get along. So I'll bring Discord back up after the live stream. I'm going to do one more render and then I'm going to call it a night because I am tired. But I really would like to see blue eyes on that render. So here we go. And I'm just going to check those eyes and make sure that they are. like they're supposed to be. Okay. All right. I'm going to render and I'm going to save it over the other file. Why is nothing there? All right. Now that's weird. Doesn't remember my file name. I'll call this three. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Well, I guess it didn't save it when I saved the file. <laughs> I was expecting the image name to be in there. Ah, it's all right. 77%. 82%. Shouldn't take long. We're going to get this render yet. 84%. 86. Getting there. Because I don't think you can see the window that shows what percentage it is. 87%. So I'm giving you the countdown. Or the count up. 89%. And it's doing it. 90%. It's going 92%. I'm glad these don't take long. They are big renders. I do 3,000 by 4,000 because I'm often putting them in a an even bigger file which I then cut down for my book cover. So I want to have plenty of room to be able to maneuver like in that render I showed you with the house and the battle scene between Adia and Aragon. And so once you render something in DAS, it has a transparent background. So it's very easy to go into GIMP and open it as layers and just lay that layer on top and boom. And GIMP has lighting effects which cause the red and white glow on the house. Um, very easy to do that effect. I was surprised at how little time it took to achieve that. So now let's look at the render and see how it did. Well, Daz renders. There we go. Okay. And his eyes are still the same color. <laughs> I'm just not going to get blue eyes tonight. 
At this point, I'm just going to call it quits. I've enjoyed being with you. Let me see who is with me at this point. I've got OAX2, Alien Conglomeration, Alien Gathering, another TTV viewer, and Nintendo Switch XL. I'm glad to see you people, and I hope you enjoyed tonight's live stream. And there you have it. I think I'll just keep on making characters. I have a lot of them I need to make. And if y'all are enjoying watching me making them, I sure am enjoying making them. So um, please join me Friday. And I'll be back, hopefully, if my sister isn't wanting to play video games. But if she does, I might not be here. I'll just give you a heads up. But um, she doesn't care about my live stream. <laughs> it's just one of those sister things, you know. But anyway, I enjoyed making characters with you, and I'm planning to make a lot more. It just helps me write better if I can visualize those characters. Then I remember little details that maybe I forgot when I actually wrote the thing. So, yeah. This is a good way for me to get better at making characters, too. The more practice you get, the better you get. So, I'll try to figure out the eye problem. Maybe it's the particular, maybe David's eyes don't um, take the color. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, y'all take care. I will be on Discord for a little bit in case y'all want to talk, but otherwise I will wish you a good night and happy projects. Y'all take care. Good night, and I'm going to go over to Daz and see what freebies they've got because it's Wednesday. I love Wednesdays. So, Hopefully, if y'all are doing Daz, you'll maybe you've already gone and gotten your weekly freebie. If not, you should go over there and check it out. Have a good night, and see you next time. Bye!